is unhappy with you because you're not trying hard enough. God hates the lazy. God wants people who try. Do you understand? He's created all of us and he's looking down. He's seen the ones who are really trying, he's seen the people who don't try at all, and then he's seen people like you. Most of you are in this category, somewhere in the middle. You've convinced yourself you're trying and you tell other people you're trying, but deep, dark, in the middle of the night, really, you know you're not trying as hard as you thought you should. What's interesting is none of you have had a normal life. You've had a unique and individual life path. The things you've gone through, nobody else on the planet has gone through. You've lived certain experiences, the school you went to, the time you were picked on in that class, the girl who broke your heart, every single thing you've been through is unique, like a fingerprint, a completely unique life. And somehow you've managed to stay completely non-unique. It's almost impressive how you can have a completely unique life experience and still end up average. How the fuck did you do that? Your life's different than everyone else's and you still look and talk and sound and act like everybody else, like a dummy. Incredible. I'll tell you why that happened. That happened because you have not paid enough attention into analyzing your life, self-analysis. Every single time something good happened to you, every single time something bad happened to you, you've not spent enough human hours sitting and thinking and trying to work out why it happened how to make sure the good things happen more often, how to make sure the bad things happen less less often. What was God trying to teach you? Everything that's happened to you has been sent from God himself to guide you on a unique path, everything good and everything bad. And the point of the unique path is that you end up a unique person, but you are failing. I believe there's only three reasons people are not rich. One of three reasons. They're either stupid, arrogant, or lazy. Stupid is actually the smallest category. Mm. People think, oh, you know, there's a lot of stupid people. There are, but I know a lot of stupid people with a lot of money, right? There's so much money in the world. To be too stupid to generate money, I think is less than 5% of the population who are genuinely too Mm. dumb to ever make a good wage. Then you have arrogant and lazy, and these are the two most common. Lazy because people just, oh, you know, but I need time to myself. Oh, you know, but it's the evening. Or, you know, it's hyper competitive. There are people who do not need time to themselves. There's a guy in Islamabad who'll do your job online for $3 an hour and he doesn't sleep. Mm. You're, you're gonna lose, right? So if you're gonna be lazy in any regard, you have to understand there are people like me who are billionaires who work 18 hours a day. When I finish this, I get into my car and I open my laptop and I work on my way to my next appointment. And then I'm gonna work all night till the day I go. When I go to sleep, I close my laptop and I'm asleep a minute later. I work, that's all I do. Men used to go to war and fight each other in physical mm. combat. And now we don't because we're more civilized in some, in some regards. That's violence is still the bottom line of society, but we try and avoid it. Men are constantly doing combat by showing each other how we can move world with money. We're we're constantly in combat because of our status. 99% of what men do is for status. We want to be in good shape for status. We want the fast car for status. We want the nice house for status. We want the diamond watch. We want the hot girl. This is all for our status. Look at me, I'm the big dog. Mm. This is how we compete with each other. If you're gonna be a dude who pretends that's not true or be a dude who doesn't want to compete, your life's gonna fucking suck. If you're a full grown man, you should feel deep shame at the fact that you can't do what I can do. Yeah, I'm top G. I am your superior in every human metric. Any way you can possibly measure humans, I surpass you. Yes, I agree. But you should still be angry in your heart that I destroy you so easily. You should feel sad about that. Move the world with money. My unique life path led me to have a very unique human experience as Top G, the most respected man on the face of the planet, the most Googled person on earth. Everybody loves Top G. All the women want him, the men want to be him. That's who I am. My unique life path has resulted in me being a super unique person. And your unique life path has resulted in fucking nothing. You're still a fuck up and you're still average and you're still a loser. The best story you could possibly tell me about the happiest day of your life would pale in comparison to my average fucking Tuesday. And it is your fault.